Um, listen, I, to, 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 to Frank's point, I, I didn't enjoy the game as a spectacle. I think it had you on edge because of how narrow City's lead were, of how defensive Atletico Madrid continued to be, and you just wondered if they'd get something on the break and, and how that would, would change the entire game. But yesterday, Gemma was talking about Atletico recognising their own vulnerabilities. And, and this is my issue with Atletico Madrid, um, in that I find they play the game not to lose, as opposed to win. And, and I, I just feel, as much as this team has taken on Diego Simeone's image in, in how they play the game, and that siege, siege mentality that he embeds in them and in the fans, which is, is easier to do at a club like Atletico Madrid in a league like La Liga, where you have Barcelona and Real Madrid, it's easier to, to say that everybody's against us when you rattle in the cages of, of, the, two, of the two Spanish big boys. You saw... Um, I've been critical of Jose Mourinho and how he has used that siege mentality in, in the past. And it works. But at some point, you have to move past it. It worked at Chelsea because Chelsea hadn't won the league for 50 years. He came in with that at Real Madrid. That only lasts so long because it is Real Madrid. Similarly with Manchester United. After 10 years and the amount of money that Diego Simeone has spent, you are waiting for Atletico Madrid to shed that siege mentality. Woe be us. Um, is way about them. And, and so to see them, after all this time, still put up that kind of a front, that negative front, is hard to accept. But the, the truth is, on the balance of play, uh, on coming into this, you think City should, should walk away with it easily, and, and it wasn't. So as a fan, you applaud it. As a neutral, um, I'm not sure how, how you continue to endure it. Jules, where do you stand on it all? I mean, this is not my kind of football. This is not my cup of tea. I think El Cholo thinks that this is how they have to play to be able to beat the team like City. I disagree. I think he's got enough talent, certainly attacking-wise, to play in a different way and cause, cause problems for a team like City. I would have really liked to see them more attacking from the first leg to the second leg and not just in the last 20 minutes, really, of that second leg. But this is what he believes in. He had a plan. The plan didn't work out. OK, he's going to try again next season. And... It's going to do the same. I understand the relationship that Luis explained really well between the fans and El Cholo and this idolation that they have for him. He's almost like a guru there because he brought them so much. And I think they like suffering. Atletico fans have suffered so many years before he arrived that I think they like suffering. And they don't mind their team defending and digging deep and, and having that sort of character and that personality. And this is great. If that's what they like, this is great. Personally, I would love to see Griezmann attacking more, Joao Felix Julia, not being on his own okay, up front, okay, trying to control the ball uh, yeah, yeah. against four defenders. I would like to see more of that, but this is not his style, this is not his philosophy. That's, that's, that's fine. This is why he does what he wants. Go on, Luis. It's a... Can I say yes? Can I say something? Uh, I understand that it's not the, the the most beautiful part of football. It's not the the best way of watching. We all enjoy Liverpool playing and, and the City playing when they are so dazzling and beautiful. But um, we see uh, Real Madrid in the semi final of Champions League, and no long ago they were defending. They didn't have a shot on target against Paris Saint Germain, and in the second game for 45, 50 minutes they didn't have a shot on target, and suddenly. Bing, they decided to start going forward. We are talking about Real Madrid. And for 20 minutes, they work. It went go forward, they score goals because they have a fantastic player like Isco Benzema, and they ended the tie. And that's it. And we have to agree with that, with the Real Madrid going this way, because I think it's exactly the same what Atletico Madrid tried. But didn't work. In the first game, they defended and they conceded a goal. Exactly like Real Madrid. They second tie. They try, they start moving forward. At the end, it wasn't enough. It was a tie. Didn't work. They had the chances, but didn't have Benzema to score in the goals for Atletico de Madrid. But I don't think at the end, I'm not talking about the last 10 minutes when everything went crazy because of the frustration of not getting the goal. But at the end, it's exactly the same. And now we are going to say that Real Madrid is one of the best teams because of that performance. I don't think so, because they didn't play well either. But the result is there. So no one is going to talk about the first game of Paris Saint-Germain. No one is going to talk about the first 45 minutes of the second game. They're going to talk about the Real Madrid. It's in the semifinals, and that's pure Simeone. I'm not talking about how we play. I'm not talking about what happened. I'm talking about being in the semifinal. And this time, he goes short, and he's not going to be there. But, but to that point, to that point, and I, I'm a Jews on this. Listen, I, I understand that that's how Real Madrid 
go through the tie against PSG. But I don't feel that that's, that's Real Madrid's default position, that they want to defend, that they go into games thinking we, we're going to play for a nil-nil here uh, up until the 89th minute. Whereas you get that feeling with Atletico Madrid. And, and time and time again, or every so often, you see Atletico, Atletico have incredible players, and you see them play an attacking brand of football. And then all of a sudden, so, so for, for example, they would start the season playing this attacking brand of football, and you love what you're seeing, and then the first bad result, Diego Simeone regresses into, into who he always is, this defensive style of football, regardless of, who the, regardless of, of the opponent, regardless of whether, it's, whether we're talking City, Liverpool, or Hetafe. As soon as he has one bad result in playing attacking football, you see this negative side to him come out. And, and for me, I, I just think that, that that is too fragile an existence for a club like Atletico Madrid, that as soon as, as, soon as one thing goes off, it doesn't, doesn't work, that's who you end up being. Or, or you go back to that default position. I, I understand that sometimes you come into games and the, op the opponent just pins you back and you cannot figure a way out. And you have to kind of defend and try to play your way into the game. But that can't be, that can't be your starting point. That, that can't be your default position. Frank? Um, the, the thing is that if I... I think the, the comment of Jules and, and, and Shaka uh, are a little bit unfair in a way that uh, in, the first, in the first game, the first leg, yeah, of course, 5-5-0, they came to defend, and I agree. Even the, the first half, you know, they didn't know how to cope with Manchester City. You know, when you see all the teams playing for Manchester City, I'm going to we, and we're going to see, and agree with Luis, we're going to see how Real Madrid is going to play against Manchester City. They're going to try to defend and pray to, uh, to make it work, that it's going to work. But the second half, I think they had one shot on target the first, first half, but I think they have seven or eight shots on target and four clear chances to, uh, to, to score. I think they tried to change and to reverse the score. They tried to attack and they were very dangerous. It's why I like the game because I think we had two different uh, um, positioning in the first half and the second half from Atletico. I saw also Manchester City uh, with 11 men trying to fight and trying to sort everything uh, trying to sort all the problem out from Atletico. But Atletico created something, created danger the second half, and I never seen Manchester City being so troubled for 45 minutes against any team this season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.